You come to my house, disrespect my family. This cannot be forgiven. You were like a son to me. How could you do this? Bring the whole f***ing heat on your family. You f***ing bastard. So, I wanted to do a quick video. Basically on the... Oh, hang on a second, will you? I've got to go. I've got to go. So I wanted to do a video about the modern mafia, in particular the Lucchese uh, family I'll focus on in this video. And it starts with this dude here, Victor Amuso. I think that's how you say it, who basically, now I might not be 100% correct on these details, but to the best of my research, has sort of been the boss since 1987 although he was uh, arrested and put into prison i think in the early 90s and i'll go into the subsequent other acting bosses that have been running the family what has been inside pretty much up to the modern day oh little vic uh victor victorio oh, for fuck's sake victorio little vic amuso uh, was arrested in the early 90s, I believe it is around 91, on uh, on racketeering and murder charges and given life in prison. Now, the underboss to this guy and acting boss while he was in prison was this little fella, Anthony Gaspipe Casso, who, if anyone's familiar with the Sammy the Bull uh, podcast, will probably know... He later uh, went on to become an informant. Well, to be fair, he, he turned state's evidence, didn't he? And he cooperated with the government about people in his former life. Um, but actually, the deal went south because he violated many, many of the, um, the things that they put in place for that deal. So they ended up backing out of the deal and the dude ended up doing life in prison, which is, which is kind of fucked up and uh, probably deserves a whole video in itself, to be honest. But yeah, that was that dude, gas pipe, nutcase. Um, he, he, he fucking was just running the shit while uh, Victor Amoruso was banged up to shit doing porridge. Uh, now, I kind of want to speed through this a little because I'm boring myself, to be honest. Basically, in 2007, the next acting boss while Muso was in prison was this dude, Matty Madonna. Which kind of sounds like some kind of crazy gay pop oil. Um, but that was him. Apparently a ferocious dude. Man's man. Don't know if anyone's ever seen Neighbours though. Looks awfully similar to a dude called Lou Carpenter. Just saying. Who fucking else was there? Right, around the same time, there's this guy who was actually a captain, right? His name was called Joe Cafe. I actually quite like this guy because he just fucking... He looks gangster as fuck, doesn't he? He looks 200%. I'm going to go get the papers, get the papers. I got the papers, I got the papers. You know, whilst also looking a little bit like Mr Burns. Apparently, he was very well known for being a stickler to the rules. In fact, a, a dude called Joe John Panisi, uh, he's got a YouTube channel, I'll put a link down, does an interesting video about him uh, coming into a bar and him basically giving someone a talking down because they didn't greet him properly and actually giving reprimanding someone because they came to a, a meeting with a five o'clock shadow and he saw that as a, a sign of disrespect. So he was a very uh, stern, strict boss who was kind of attention to detail. So I find him quite an interesting character. That's uh, something you might want to look at as well. I'm going to skip a load of shit because this video is long as fuck already. I had so much to put in there, but uh, it's just, it's gone on way longer than I thought. So basically this guy got old as fuck. I don't know who this guy is. And this guy's the new reigning captain of the Lucchese family. The end.